the TripSaver 2 cutout mounted recloser operates at high voltage. Failure to observe these precautions will result in serious personal injury or death. Some of these precautions may differ from your company's operating procedures and rules. Where a discrepancy exists, follow your company's operating procedures and rules. This video is intended to be used in conjunction with a written instruction sheet included with your product or found online at sandc.com. The TripSaver 2 is a single phase cutout mounted recloser used to eliminate unnecessary permanent outages. It sits in an SNC fuse cutout mounting and recloses several times to clear a transient fault. If the fault is persistent, the TripSaver 2 recloser locks out and drops open just like a fuse, providing a visible gap for safety and easy identification. After dropping open, the device automatically resets both its vacuum interrupter and drop open mechanism, ready for quick restoration, but needs to be manually closed by a technician. There must be at least 4 amperes of load current flowing through the TripSaver 2 unit to power the control up from its sleep state. Once powered, the control can stay on as long as the current doesn't fall below 1.5 amperes. While in its sleep state, the TripSaver 2 unit will still respond properly should a fault occur. SNC offers a 15 kV and a 25 kV unit. Although they are different sizes, the installation process is the same. Follow these steps to install a TripSaver 2 cutout mounted recloser. Handling. A complete TripSaver 2 for a new installation consists of two shipping containers. They include a TripSaver 2 device and an SNC cutout mounting with miscellaneous mounting hardware. Do not drop a TripSaver 2 recloser or subject any of its parts to undue stress during installation. Only remove a TripSaver 2 device from the carton when it is ready for installation. Cutout mounting. Always follow your company's personal protective equipment guidelines when working with TripSaver 2. To ensure proper performance, TripSaver 2 units must only be installed in a current production R10 or R11 SNC provided type XS fuse cutout mounting. Make sure the cutout mounting is properly installed and that electrical connections are made according to your company's guidelines. Installation. With gloved hands, insert the TripSaver 2 recloser into the mounting and guide the trunnion into the hinge of the cutout mounting. Alternately, the TripSaver 2 recloser can be installed with a hot stick. Insert the curled prong of an SNC talon handling tool or the distribution prong into the lifting eye of the trunnion and raise the TripSaver 2 unit into the mounting. If a talon tool is used, rotate the hook stick counterclockwise 180 degrees to disengage it. Operation. With TripSaver 2 in the mounting, you can use a rigid hot stick to manually close the device from a bucket truck. In some cases, with proper training, an extendo stick may be used. When using a bucket truck, position the bucket's height and distance so you meet the minimum safety distance requirement set by your utility. You should not be directly below or parallel to the device. You should be directly in front of the device and not off to either side. You should be close enough to comfortably reach the device with the hot stick without leaning on the guardrail or standing on tiptoes. To close the TripSaver 2, place the mode selector lever in the desired mode, either non-reclose or auto according to your company's guidelines. To close a TripSaver 2 unit into the mounting, first insert the straight prong of an SNC talon handling tool or a distribution prong into the pull ring. Do not put the prong underneath the pull ring. Then swing the TripSaver 2 unit to within approximately 45 degrees of the fully closed position. While firmly gripping the hot stick, drive the TripSaver 2 device closed with forward force. To avoid bounce back, maintain the forward force until the device properly closes and latches into the cutout mounting. Disengage the prong from the pull ring, taking care to avoid pulling open the TripSaver 2 recloser. When using an extendo stick, you should stand 6 to 10 feet from the pole and in line with the device. The procedure is the same. To avoid bounce back, 
maintain the forward force until the device properly closes and latches into the cutout mounting. Do not use the curled prong of an SNC talon handling tool to close a TripSaver 2 recloser. This can prevent full closure, resulting in arcing, equipment damage, serious injury or death. LCD screen. Operational information is displayed on the LCD screen. To initiate scrolling through the different screens, operate the mode selector lever when the unit is energized. It cycles through the screens the user specified number of times before returning to the normal screen. Refer to the written instruction sheet for more details. When a TripSaver 2 unit reaches the end of its duty cycle, it will drop open and will not reset, locking the vacuum interrupter in the open position and the operating mechanism in the dropped open position. A ServiceNow screen will be displayed. The recloser will not be able to be closed back into the mounting and it must be returned to SNC for service. Local Manual Open The TripSaver 2 cutout mounted recloser with firmware version 1.6 or later can be opened manually without any load brake tools by using the Local Manual Open or LMO feature. The feature provides an operation sequence that commands the TripSaver 2 device to open the vacuum interrupter contacts and drop open. The device must be powered for the feature to work or a line worker could use a cordless power module to temporarily power up the device when the load current is low. This yellow load brake label is included in the shipping container. It is intended to be used to indicate that local manual open has been enabled on the device. Two parameters control how LMO functions, the operations count which is the number of times the lever needs to be operated, and an operations timeout window, which is the amount of time in seconds in which you must complete the operations. By default, the feature is disabled and must be enabled and have the value set while configuring the device. When the LMO feature is enabled, a new LCD screen titled LMO will be automatically displayed as the first scrolling screen with the operations count on the left and the time window shown on the right. Confirm the values with your utility. In this example, we're using an operations count of 6 and a time window of 40 seconds. Operate the mode selector lever 6 times in a 40 second window to trigger the LMO command. Every single movement of the lever counts as one operation. As soon as the 6 operations are complete, the TripSaver 2 recloser will start a time delay sequence. For the next 10 seconds, LMO cancel will appear on the LCD screen. The 10 second window is fixed. Any operation of the mode selector lever during this time will cancel the LMO command and LMO cancelled will appear on the screen. If the command is not cancelled within 10 seconds, a walk away message will then be displayed. The walk away window is fixed at 8 seconds and gives users time to move away from the device. During the walk away period, the operator can no longer cancel the LMO operation. After 8 seconds, the device will break the load current, drop open, and reset. For more information on the local manual open function, see the written instructions. We hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, please visit our website at sandc.com.